Hey everybody, welcome back for another longer way to episode of Healthy Happy Hour. I am Joseph Ward, and we are back to give you some information that could greatly, greatly, greatly help you in your pursuit of health care. We know, especially in times now, prices are going up, inflation is going up, and people still need access to health care. And this gentleman today, he's come on our podcast before in the past and gave us information. I think it was either during COVID or a little bit before COVID, but he's back now and we're going to take a deep dive into ex- health insurance and accessing health insurance and health care and the best ways that Mr. Bowman is going to give us some tips and things and uh, tell us information about his organization, his experience and his past and working in the health insurance realm. So make sure you all pull out your pen and pad and take notes because you're going to learn a lot today. Just a quick reminder that we are available on our website at www.nmcpodcast.com. Remember this YouTube channel, this Neighborhood Medical Center YouTube channel, subscribe, hit that like button, that like button, help other people see it, comment, and make sure you share this video. And remember that the this audio and this podcast is also available on Anchor Breaker Radio, Public Pocket Cast, Spotify, and Google Podcasts. And once again, remember to subscribe to this Neighborhood Medical Center YouTube channel. You can also catch clips of our podcast and some of the clips of things that we do in our community. And you can stay abreast on our community events if you a follow us on Instagram at Neighborhood Heroes eight five zero or just type in Neighborhood Medical Center or become a part of my email list and to become a part of my community email list, you need to email me at jward at neighborhoodmedicalcenter.org and I will be able to add you to my email list and all that stuff will be in the description of this video. So with that being said, let's get into it. So sit back, get your pen and paper out, get you something to drink, get you some snacks, make sure you take off your shoes, whatever you need to do to get calm because it's about to go down. So our guest is returning, Mr. Timothy Bowman. I call him the health insurance expert, the health insurance master. So give you a little background about him. He has spent his life using his prof- his personal professional experience to help his customers understand health care and provide them with the resources so they can make informed decisions for what is best for them. After working exclusively for insurance companies as a captive agent, he realized that he could better serve his customer base by becoming an independent agent representing multiple insurance companies and offering his customers more options and benefit choices. Educating the customers on the plan options and benefits allows each customer to become empowered to make the best decisions for them. So also he knows from experience there is no single health plan that works for everyone. So he continues to search for the health plans that are best for each individual's need. He is a licensed insurance agent certified to sell and market several insurance companies. So he has an extensive background. He is summa cum laude graduate of the LEX, the Leadership Excellence Program in the state of Florida. He's also been voted most inspirational by LEX and his peers by his peers in the administration as well. And coming with a wealth of knowledge, a wealth of experience to help you help yourself. So give it up for Mr. Timothy Bolton. How you doing, Mr. Bolton? I'm doing great, Mr. Ward. And I want to thank you once again for having me back on your podcast. The last time I was here, it was a a wonderful experience, and I surely hope that your audience receive uh, some uh, beneficial information that um, I I presented to them, and hopefully the information was clear and understandable uh, when it comes to Medicare and healthcare and the choices that individuals have once they turn 65 and also for those under 65 who are disabled with a qualified uh, disability. So okay. today I wanted to uh, go over um, some of uh, the information that I went over last time as a, as a uh, kind of like a rehash and also go into some other areas that individuals who are on Medicare uh, would probably have some questions about. And um, I'm going to ahead and start presenting some information right now unless you have right. uh, questions well um i'll i'll let you present and if you don't mind i can ask as we go okay very very good very good sir. all right again um 
thank you for having me, Mr. Ward, to come back on your podcast. Uh, it was a very, very uh, uh, wonderful um, time. The last time I was on your podcast, uh, talking about Medicare and healthcare uh, questions that a lot of people may have. And um, I've been in the business for a while now, um, helping people to understand Medicare as well as healthcare as it applies to uh, their particular situations, knowing that one plan uh, is not a cure-all for everyone. So when you make the decision once you're on Medicare, it's important that you do your due diligence to do the research, uh, do the reading, and find out what's best for you. Uh, right. When it comes to Medicare, um, understanding your Medicare choices is your first step. So when you enroll into orig original Medicare, which is part A that covers hospitalization uh, and part B, which covers medical, which is your doctor visits and outpatient care, uh, most people receive that red, white, and blue card, which it says Medicare Health Insurance, has the person's name, their Medicare number, and um, hospital for Part A and medical for Part B with the dates that those particular parts of coverage began. Now, after you enroll into Original Medicare, there are only two decisions that you're going to make once you're on Medicare. And that option is, do you remain on original Medicare with the red, white, and blue card that covers part A, hospitalization, and part B, which is your medical coverage, and elect to enroll into a Medicare supplement insurance plan with your original Medicare and include a Medicare Part D plan, which is for your prescription drugs. That's one option. Or your next option is once you become eligible for original Medicare, you can enroll into Part C, which is your Medicare Advantage plan. And Part C combines Part A, your hospital insurance, and Part B, which is a met, which is your medical insurance, it combines it all into one, and it adds additional benefits that's not provided by original Medicare. Now, with the Medicare Advantage plans, most of them, or quite a few of them, have a Part D plan already built into the plans, and those Part D uh, coverages. Uh, the prescription drugs, they cover your prescription drugs as Part D. Okay. Now, eligibility and enrollment um, for individuals who are at least 65 years of age or under 65 with the qualified disability, they qualify for Medicare. And you would also need to be a U.S. citizen or legal resident who has resided in the United States for at least five years. And the question comes about is, when can you enroll into a Medicare Advantage or prescription drug plan? There are certain times of the year where you can and cannot enroll into these plans. Now, okay. your initial, go right ahead, sir. No, I was, you were saying that certain times of year, so uh, I was, basically just saying okay um oh, going okay into, i was going to ask what those times are but i'm sure you're going to go into it yes sir uh your initial enrollment period when you can enroll into a medicare advantage or a prescription drug plan it begins uh your initial your initial enrollment period is seven months long and if you look at this chart what it shows you is that it includes your 65th birthday month and you have three months before your birthday month and three months after your birthday month. And that encompassed the seventh month period. So take, for instance, if your birthday is in, say, uh, January, you can start the process of enrolling into a plan as early as October. So that's three months uh, before your birthday. 
And three months after January, you can enroll up into April uh, after your birth month if it was January. So this chart is showing you that your annual, okay, the annual enrollment period is from October the 15th to December the 7th. Now your annual enrollment period is when persons who are on original Medicare can enroll into a Medicare Advantage plan. They can also enroll into a prescription drug plan as well. Then they can also make changes during this time, uh, during the annual enrollment period from October the 15th to December the 7th. Now we also have a Medicare Advantage open enrollment period which is from January 1st to March 31st. And this is during a time where people who are already in a Medicare Advantage plan, they can disenroll, they can disenroll from their current plan. They can switch to another Medicare Advantage plan one time only, or they can go back to their original Medicare status, which is the red, white, and blue card and not be enrolled into any plan. Mm -hmm. And finally, there's another enrollment period, and this is throughout the year, and this is called our special enrollment period. And depending on certain circumstances, you may be able to enroll into a Medicare plan outside of the initial enrollment or annual enrollment periods. But these periods are uh, specific based on uh, certain criteria that you would have to meet for special enrollment. An example of special enrollment periods would be, take for instance, if you retire and you lose your employer coverage, that will be considered a special uh, enrollment reason for you to make a change. Okay. Or you move out of the planned service area, you move from Tallahassee to Miami, that will be a special enrollment uh, reason as well. Or you qualify for extra help and extra help is uh, submitting an uh, application to get help with your prescription drugs by contacting Medicare. Mm -hmm. And also if you have been diagnosed with a, a, a certain qualified chronic illness or health concern, that will be considered a special en enrollment reason for you to apply for enrollment into a plan or ch make a uh, plan change during that time. Okay. Now, these are these are, are periods that happen every year. You're going to have an annual enrollment period from October the 15th to December the 7th. You're going to have a open enrollment period from January the 1st to March 31st. Keep in mind with the open enrollment period, you can only make one change during that period, not multiple changes. During your annual enrollment period, you can make as many changes as you want, but that final change on December the 7th, uh, will, you, you will not be able to make any more changes once December the 8th starts. Whatever plan you decided on at the end of December the 7th will be the plan that would go into effect for you on January 1st um, once that enroll annual enrollment period has ended. Okay. Now, <clears throat> the advantages of Medicare Advantage plans, there are numer numeral ones, and uh, you probably hear a lot about it on televisions, about additional benefits and things like that, but be Beyond just the, uh, the benefits that, that a person will receive, the additional benefits, which, which are numerous uh, benefits that they're offering, we need to keep in mind that over 27 million people enrolled into the Medicare Advantage plans as of May of 2021. That's a lot of people. 93% mm -hmm. are satisfied with the Medicare Advantage plans that they chose okay and 25 percent less spend on health care compared to original medicare so what they're saying is they enroll into these medicare advantage plans the plans are offering a lot more 
than being on that red, white, and blue original Medicare card. And they're seeing that they're spending less, they're more satisfied, and more people year by year are enrolling into Medicare Advantage plans as opposed to just remaining on original Medicare. Um, here's a comparison chart that compares Medicare Advantage to original Medicare. If you go down the left column, you'll see benefit and features, coverage for hospital stay, Medicare Advantage and original Medicare both cover that. Coverage for some medical care like doctor visits both cover the, that category. Preventive services like flu shots both cover that category. But when you get to prescription drugs, routine vision coverage, routine hearing exam and hearing aid coverage, limited annual out-of-pocket costs, dental care, and other things, that's only covered by the Medicare Advantage plan. Original Medicare is not going to cover prescription drugs, routine vision care, routine hearing exams. Uh, they are not going to cover dental benefits, and they do not have original Medicare, do not have a limit on your annual out-of-pocket costs, meaning that if you run up a bill, uh, $100,000, you're going to be responsible for 20% of that bill because Medicare will only cover 80% of your medical costs and you're responsible for 20%. Right. So the Medicare Advantage plans, they do have a limit on your annual out-of-pocket costs. Uh, 10 things that you might want to keep in mind about Medicare Advantage plans uh, that makes a difference when it comes to the, your money and, and the bottom line. Now, when you enroll into a Medicare Advantage plan, you must continue to pay your Medicare Part B premium. That's one of the, the um, criteria for you enrolling into a Medicare plan. You must have Part A and Part B of Medicare. Medicare gives you, <clears throat> excuse me, Medicare uh, sometimes, depending on your situation, if you qualify for a Medicaid, uh, Medicare, um, Medicare and Medicaid together, Medicaid will sometimes pay a portion of your your uh, costs when it comes to um, your premium, your annual premium, when it comes to Part B. Uh, but that's through Medicaid, not Medicare. Um, your Medicare Advantage plan, um, they, they cover all the services of original Medicare, which is Part A and Part B. Now, if a person is in hospice care, this is not covered through Medicare Advantage, but it's covered through original Medicare. When a person joins a Medicare Advantage plan, and most people want to know how would it affect uh, your current mm -hmm. coverage, if you have existing coverage through your employer, um, what you might want to do is find out if you have credible coverage, if you're still working past the age of 65, because you can continue to be covered by your employer while you're employed past 65 until you decide to stop working. And then that's when you need to worry about um, paying for Part B coverage, but while you're working and you still have credible coverage, you do not have to worry about paying for Medicare Part B coverage. Okay. And you will not be penalized as well. Yeah, because that that would you know that's a main question of a lot of uh, people that we come that's across in the community, especially if they're if we're introducing them to something new or something additional to what they have. A lot of them are so fixed or just so comfortable with the way the system is. If there is a slight change, they may be hesitant. And but a lot of that is due to a lack of information, a lack of um, just real trust on the transition of it. Yes, sir. Um, a lot of times, 
the question is, uh, people are still working and um, they want to know, will they be penalized if they do not um, go ahead and apply for Part B? And the way that um, Medicare policies are, as long as you have credible coverage and a person can go to their HR department to make sure that the coverage is credible, then they can continue working and be covered by that, that particular type of employer group coverage and not be penalized by not applying for Medicare Part B when they turn 65. So they, you know, they don't have to worry about it. But now once they stop working, they would need to apply for their Part B uh, coverage within 63 days. If they don't do it within those 63 days, then they could find themselves being penalized by not applying for Part B. Right. Now, when it comes to network providers um, under Medicare uh, Advantage plans, these uh, plans, they have a network of healthcare and pharmacy providers uh, within the different types of plans. You have HMO plans, PPO plans, you have dual access plans for those who have Medicare and Medicaid. And because they have the providers uh, within the network, it's, uh, it's a cost savings to, uh, to a lot of the uh, customers, but they also provide coverage for providers outside the network, usually um, there probably might be a higher cost when you go outside of the network, but you can go outside the network, especially in an emergency situation, you can use those providers. Right. Now, depending on your financial situation, you may qualify for help paying the plan pre premiums and Part D medications through a low income subsidy program uh, or extra help. And that's uh, that's on an individual basis. The person will contact Medicare and uh, tell them that they would like to apply for extra help and mm -hmm. extra help will let them know if they qualify. And if they do, they will uh, be approved for extra help and they will receive um, um, funds toward their prescription drug costs. Now, if you enroll in Part D late, you may pay a penalty. Now, here it is, we're talking about the penalty of, of enrolling into Part D, which is um, Medicare prescription drug coverage. And it states that um, if you were to go without Part D coverage for longer than 63 days in a row after your initial enrollment period, Medicare Advantage plans that include Part D coverage meet Medicare coverage requirements, but it's stating that if you do not have Part D coverage past 63 days, then there's a penalty involved. Uh, with you not having prescription drug coverage. And most people who, uh, you know, Medicare, quite a few of them use medication. So this is to their advantage for them to be covered by a prescription uh, drug plan. Right. Now, Medicare supplement insurance, also known as Medigap policies, it's not a Medicare Advantage plan, but it is a supplement to original Medicare. In other words, original Medicare do not cover all of your medical needs 100%. That's the reason why you need a Medicare supplement insurance or Medigap policies to fill in the gaps of what Medicare does not cover. Now, Medicare Advantage plans, they combine original Medicare, which is part A and part B, and often they have a Part D, which is pres prescription drug uh, coverage. They combine all of that into a single plan. Medicare Advantage is also known as Part C of Medicare. So I, so I do have a question. When you uh, go to your doctors 
And once you enroll into a plan, you would just present your Medicare plan card as opposed to your original Medicare card because all of your benefits will now be through the through the plan as opposed to original Medicare. Right. So Medicare I, Advantage offers the same protection as original Medicare, Part A, which is hospitalization, and Part B, which is your medical coverage, which is doctor visits and outpatient care. But the Medicare Advantage plans, are, they are provided to you through private insurance carriers. You still have the same rights and protection as original Medicare. Uh -huh. You have a built-in financial safety net. As I stated earlier, the Medicare Advantage plans, they have a annual out-of-pocket maximum, which right. means that each year, if you reach that maximum, you would not have to pay anything beyond that because that's when the plan picks up and will pay anything in excess of your maximum annual out of pocket. So, and this is a, a great safety net for a lot of uh, individuals who are on Medicare because it's, it's going to ensure that they are not going to be given a medical um bill that's that's very very big in in a, in an amount that maybe they might have to face a financial burden because of them paying 20 percent out of pocket on a on a very large medical uh bill right. or cost right so so i do have a question yes sir um because now you, when it, it comes to your prescription drug coverage uh, under Medicare, the prescription drug coverage, which is Part D, there are several stages that an uh, individual will go to once they become Medicare eligible. The very first stage is the annual deductible stage. In that stage, the the uh, member is going to pay a hundred percent of their met uh, their prescription costs until they reach the plan deductible. Mm -hmm. And every year there is a uh, amount that the member is responsible for when it comes to that plan deductible. And um, they would have to meet that deductible. And, um, and it varies by the different plans. So, so what I'm looking at right now for let's see here okay so uh, real, I, I, have a, I have new a, rates for i got a quick question for you part d okay. can, can you hear me it's uh 200 and $33. I think that's what the annual deductible is that the member is going to be responsible for. Now, after that annual deductible, um, once that stage is over, the person goes into the next stage, which is the initial coverage stage, whereby the member is going to be paying a copay or coinsurance. And the plan will pay the balance after the copay and coinsurance. Okay, they they will stay in this stage until they reach four thousand four hundred and thirty dollars, which represents the total drug cost within the initial coverage stage. Now, some people go beyond the initial coverage stage of, of reaching four thousand four hundred and thirty dollars in a year in their prescription drug costs and they they will therefore enter the coverage gap also known as the donut hole and at this stage the member is responsible for 25 percent of their drug costs and the plan will cover between five and 75 percent of the balance up to the total out-of-pocket cost of seven thousand fifty dollars some people reach this coverage gap. Some people do not. 
but every year the uh, member is going to be going through these type stages with their prescription drugs. Now, if a person were to go beyond $7,050 in the coverage gap stage, they will enter the catastrophe coverage stage. And in that stage, the member is paying $3.95 copay for generic drugs, and they're paying $9.85 copay for other drugs or 5% coinsurance for all drugs, whichever is greater. The plan will cover 15%, and this, this will go throughout the end of the year. Um, some people may reach that catastrophe coverage. Very few, probably 5% uh, or less, will ever probably reach that catastrophe stage. But the first uh, stages one, two, and three, annual deductible, initial coverage, and coverage gap. Uh, most people will be in one of those three stages when it comes to their prescription drug costs. Okay, and the prescription drug uh, coverage is, is the, the, defined by um, plans having a network of pharmacies across the country. It's defined by a drug list, which is um, listed through a formulary, which has a list of drugs that the plan will cover, as well as a, a list of the drugs in a in a tier um, a tier grouping. Uh, you see on the chart here the um, tier one, which is the preferred generic drugs, tier two generic, tier three brand name uh, drugs tier four non-preferred drugs and tier five are the specialty drugs. The lower the tier, um, the least expensive the medications are. So on this uh, particular um, tier system here, tier five, the specialty drugs will be just like the brand name drugs and they, they will be the most expensive uh, when it comes to you uh, acquiring your, your medications. The Medications, when it comes to acquiring them, a lot of companies have uh, a system where you can either go to the pharmacy or you can have them mailed to you. Uh, the mail order system is showing to be at a great discount for individuals if they want to get 90-day uh, supplies as opposed to going to the local pharmacy and getting 30 and 60-day supplies. The 90-day supplies is saving people a lot of money when it comes to the mail order. Now, when it comes to Medicare, keep in mind that everyone has different needs. So this is not about one plan fits all. Um, everything that we go over when it comes to Medicare, it has to do with uh, doing a need analysis, finding out what's best for uh, different, uh, uh, you as an individual, what uh, what prescriptions are you taking? What doctors are you seeing? Uh, what are your, uh, your complications? And um, we want to find out what plan will be best for you. Um, we, we know that uh, one plan do doesn't fit all and choosing a doctor just because someone else is going there, uh, that doesn't work. So, you know, we, we do need analysis and then we have other individuals within these plans that reach out to the individual to find out a little bit more in depth uh, information regarding their med medical status so that they can uh, probably institute some preventive measures and some other things that might improve their health and uh, just try to do whatever is gonna be uh, needful and comfortable for the beneficiary so that they can uh, experience optimum health. And I'm here as a insurance, licensed insurance broker to do my very best to explain Medicare and healthcare to individuals so that they will be empowered with information to make um, a good 
and um, healthy decision regarding their health now, but also in the future. Keep in mind that I represent not only the Medicare Advantage plans, but I met, represent Medicare Supplement plans. And it's an uh, individual decision on what which way you want to go when it comes to Medicare. Do you want to remain on original Medicare, enroll into a Medicare Supplement plan, and also add a Medicare Part D prescription drug plan as a standalone plan? Or your, your other decision would be, once you're on original Medicare, is would be to enroll into a Medicare Advantage plan, which combines or incorporates Medicare Part A, which is hospital coverage, and Part B, which is medical coverage, into one, and also add additional benefits as Part C, in those ancillary benefits such as vision care, hearing care, dental care, over-the-counter supplies. Some plans offer um, a free uh, gym membership or fitness uh, program, as well as uh, transportation and other things. But these are uh, added benefits that Medicare Advantage plans would offer. And also remember that there's a, a limit on the maximum out-of-pocket cost uh, when it comes to these plans. So there's a safety net when it comes to medical costs or financial uh, costs when it comes to medical bills because with the Medicare Advantage plans, there is a limit. Uh, original Medicare, there is no limit. Whatever the bill is, no matter how high it is, you're responsible for 20% of the medical cost. And at this time, I feel as though I've covered quite a bit, Mr. Ward. I'm uh, yeah. going to leave it open right now for any questions or concerns that you might have for me. Um, so um, the, you talked about let me see if I can hopefully I can remember the name correctly. You talked about the 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 Medicaid Advanced, but there was a uh, um, there's the Medicaid Advanced, and there was also the I think it was an insur uh, additional insurance part that could help people um, be able to afford afford different things through the plan. Um, so my question yes. was. I, I I can access you. I can email you or call you up or get you on this podcast to um, to get a better understanding or get that information from you. But let's say the average citizen who is eligible for Medicaid, the average citizen who may not know where to start, what advice would you give that person to be able to uh, talk to the right people, access the right people, go to the right place to be able to get the specific information um, that can go that can go into the the Medicare Advance program that can help people be able to take advantage of all the benefits uh, available. Well, um, they can call me directly. Um, I'm going to try to see if I can share my information, but they can contact me directly. Um, name is uh, Timothy Bowman. And my telephone number is 850-354-1166, 850-354-1166. And I'm going to try to see if I can bring up uh, my contact information with my picture here. Just one moment, sir. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, I can hear you. Okay, just one moment. All right. The information that you were asking about has to do with extra help and mm -hmm. extra help. Actually, the individuals can contact their local Social Security Administration office 
to ask any questions about um, extra help and how to go about applying for it. Now, the telephone number to Social Security Administration is 1 800 1 800 772 772 1213 1213 that's the social security administration yes and the, and individuals who would like assistance um if their income is you know they have low income and they need help with uh getting some uh some uh, support with getting their medications covered they would call social security administration and tell them they would like to apply for the extra e x t r a extra help h e l p program okay extra help program yes yeah, sir all right all right i have that written down okay. absolutely so another um question okay. i have is there are a lot of conversations around medicaid medicare um what are some of the biggest myths that you have to dispel about like medicaid um what are some of the things you have to educate people about versus the narratives because i know in our communities the narratives surrounding these things could be very strong but what are some of the common misconceptions that you have to dispel well um, i'm glad you brought that up um uh, one of the common misconception is medicaid is the same as medicare and medicare mm -hmm. is the same as medicaid and right. that is a misconception and is absolutely untrue uh, when it comes to Medicaid, Medicaid is a program that's sponsored by each individual state. The state, they, they, they govern Medicaid. And Medicaid is based on income and asset verifications. So you have to meet income guidelines for Medicaid and also asset guidelines for medicaid okay okay that's that's dealing with medicaid now medicare is uh is it's um is health coverage through the federal government and it's based on an individual being 65 years of age or under 65 if they have a qualified disability but medicare has uh for the most part it is not based on income and asset like medicaid is but medicare is based on your age being 65 or older or 65 and under if you have a qualified disability gotcha gotcha okay so that's uh how we clear that up about the misconception that Medicaid and Medicare are the same. They're not. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yes, sir. Yeah. Cause like I said, that's, that's one, that's a great misconception in our community, but also it just, when it comes to health care, people don't really understand where to start or understand how to navigate the health care system or even the health insurance system. Mm -hmm. So someone mm -hmm. like yourself giving these presentations is very helpful because it's it's I, I think I think about it as information that we we just kind of shove in a shove in a in a specific place to where mm -hmm. we can we can try to refer back to it when we need to but it seems like we don't really do that but because I, I just wish more on the front end that we would really educate ourselves on the programs and the things that we're using so we can take full advantage of all the services that you have available yes sir you're absolutely right absolutely right sir but uh you know that's that's a, a really uh uh when it comes what doing with your educating people and doing i'm in the same uh type of work uh the bulk of what i do has to do with me educating the people that i'm dealing with 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, mm-hmm. um, that that's 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 the thing that uh, you know that that I'm most proud proud to be doing is educating. That yeah, is what I'm but, so uh, most proud to be doing is educating. And um, I don't, yes, sir. And um, here's my business. Yes, sir. Absolutely. And we're going to continue to do it because we don't want anyone to feel as though the information is not available. It's available. You just have to make sure you know about and how to make better choice yeah yeah yes sir yeah uh, my right, so, business uh, email is my yes. business right ahead i'm sorry no i was just i was going to ask you your best way for people to contact you but you're going right into it can you see my um my picture oh hold on let me put it up all right it's here now all right, so you, okay, you guys yeah, see it. And you see my yeah. Yeah, great health Timothy is Cole. wealth at mail.com. Yep, 850-345-1166. Once again, great health is wealth at mail.com. All one word, great health is wealth at mail.com. So y'all make sure you contact yes, Mr. Bowman. You see his phone number. You see his email. You see his face. So let's contact Mr. Bowman to make sure we can take advantage of all the information that he has and access the information and be able to share it to other people so others can have access to health care but but most of all health insurance to be able to pay for the health care we know it costs to be sick but we do have plans in place especially in this tallahassee in this big Bend area to be able to help those who, who want to help themselves so let's make sure we do it and get the information out so this is mr timothy bowman so thank you once again for coming through and giving Giving that information on um, navigating that healthcare system, the, the health insurance system, that's a very tricky system for a lot of people, and it, it could yes, be sir. it could be aggravating, it could be a nuisance to a lot of people. But uh, we're able to act, we're able to get the information from you and access it better. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you again. And uh, we ch- we just put everything on the screen, but his contact information and more about him will be in the description. So you make sure you check it out. And remember, for us, this is Healthy Happy Hour. I am Joseph Ward. Remember, we're available on our website at www.nmcpodcast.com. Make sure you visit our parent website at www.neighborhoodmedicalcenter.org. We're also available on Anchor, Breaker, Radio Public, Pocket Cast, Spotify, Google Podcasts, and, of course, we're right here on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel. Uh, You subscribe, like this video. Please like this video for the algorithm so more people can have it. The more you comment in the com- comment in the comment section, the more interaction we'll have and share this video so everybody can see it. So once again, I am Joseph Ward. He is Mr. Timothy Bowman, and we are out. See y'all next time.